After an amazing bit of luck on an online selling site, we set about driving the full length of Italy and Sicily to buy our bargain find. We can't travel the 3,000 kilometres without visiting Rome, so on our return trip, we detour to visit this magnificent capital. This time tomorrow we'll be on the road. This is Cordelia, our Venus Ketch. This is Steve. The sunnier days. I'm Annette, and this is the I cutest member of our crew, Gus. Our dream was 10 years in the planning. In the end, you only ever regret the chances you didn't take. I'm out of breath, out of condition. Um, we're going on a bit of a road trip, so I came up to check the car, the trusty steed, and check the oil and the water and everything like you do as a responsible. And I dropped the filler cap. It's gone down inside there somewhere. I can't see it. So now I'm going to have to take the bottom of the plate off. So now I'm scrubbing around <laughs> underneath the front of the car with a load of broken glass, trying to get hopefully these things out. It should allow me to see the bloody thing. Well, you join us back at the car. <laughs> you know the simple plate that needed taken off. Well, <laughs> I've had to cause a little bit of major surgery. And in the end, I still couldn't find it. Um, I brought all manner of tools up, still couldn't find it. And then guess what happened? I had to call Mrs. M who came up here once I'd done the hard work, yet again, once I'd done the hard work of taking the thing apart, she put her delicate little hand in there and pulled out this. <laughs> so that's three for three. We've got the throw in the line, we've got the nail varnish on the steering yeah, well, come gear. We've got bloody 3,000 miles to do, or 3,000 kilometres to do. Let's and get a move on. We should have left hours ago. <laughs> now I've got to put the car back together. <laughs> Taking a road trip to uh, just north of Verona, um, which is, I don't know that you can get much further north than Italy, and we are as far south as you can go as well. I think we are the most southerly point in Ragusa, more or less, um, of Italy. So it's going to be quite a long drive, we reckon about 15 to 17, 18 hours. But we're going to stop overnight somewhere, I don't know where yet, and we're going to make That's it kind okay. of do... <laughs> Maybe at the Hotel Focus. Hotel Focus? Ford Focus. Oh. <laughs> at the Hotel Ford Focus, yeah. Yeah, it could be. It's Thursday today, we've got to be back for Monday, because we're having the boat lifted on Monday. They offered to lift us the boat this morning, but we'd already made plans, so... Which is a bit annoying, because it's been three times now, hasn't it? the third time or the fourth time anyway. Our road trip starts with us crossing Sicily and taking the ferry to mainland Italy. The crossing is near the Messina Strait which we have sailed through four times. We've done a lot of driving in this car, which we bought last year to help us get around the UK on our three months visit. However, never have we driven through so many tunnels as they have here in Italy. We try to avoid the toll roads but sometimes it was very difficult when the sat-nav kept sending us towards them. Where are we? Bizzano, any... Bizzano del Grappa. 
This is where we picked up our boat part and very nearly didn't stop. We were hungry and making our way to the supermarket came across this beautiful old part of Bassana de Grappa, which is at the foot of the Alps. hotel room right next to the Vatican in Rome and believe it or not okay nothing really special about the room but it's got its own bathroom there a shower a toilet sink obviously uh, it's got its own fridge and a safe extra blankets and that um, we've checked the sheets and that they're all clean don't know what's out the window because it's too dark to see and it cost 40 euros. No, actually not 40 euros, about 37 euros, 37 something. So, can't complain. We can walk out the front door here and that includes breakfast. Breakfast is just in the uh, pub just next door tomorrow morning. And um, the Vatican is about 30 seconds down the road. So. We've just got to find the Colosseum after that. St Peter's Basilica is within the Vatican City. This church replaced the old St Peter's Basilica which was built in the 4th century. The basilica that now stands was started in 1506 and completed 120 years later. It is the largest interior sized church in the world and is regarded as the holiest Catholic shrine. St Peter was also the first Bishop of Rome. The River Tiber is the third largest river in Italy and runs from the Apennine Mountains to the Tyrrhenian Sea. On our walk from St Peter's to the Colosseum, we realised that we are never going to have time to see everything. We didn't know there was so much to see, read and learn about. The Vitiorano is considered one of the national symbols of Italy due to its architecture and was a particular favourite of Steve's. The Vitiorano was the first an altar to the goddess Rome, then a shrine to the Italian unknown soldier. At every turn you are faced with a monument or a building that is as interesting as the last one. The Colosseum is the largest amphitheatre ever built and still the largest today. It could hold up to 80,000 people and was used for gladiatorial contests, annual hunts, executions and Roman mythology dramas. The Trevi Fountain is the largest Baroque fountain in Rome and the most famous fountain in the world. You can't visit the Trevi Fountain without throwing the coin over your shoulder, which we both did. The beauty and the size of this fountain at nearly 50 metres wide is breathtaking. goes to show you how looks can be deceptive because I've just had the best pizza I've ever had in my entire life. What's that? In a toilet, well it's not a toilet but like a corner of a little tiny shop. The guy beckoned us in and said I've got the best pizza in the world here. Yeah? And I'm one for magic beans, so we said yeah. Get out of that bin, you dirty animal.
Yes, that's snow on the top of there. That's Mount Vesuvius. We're in Pompeii at the moment. Unfortunately, we haven't got time to go to the ruins, but we thought we'd stop in here on our way back to Ragusa. He's too near the edge, I don't like it, Steve. He can't go over the edge, okay? It's, don't tell me what he can and he can't do, okay? It doesn't matter, my legs are going. The Amalfi Coast is absolutely stunning and if you ever get the chance to drive it, you must. Overlooking the Tyrrhenian Sea and the Gulf of Salerno, it has always attracted thousands of tourists and in 1997 was listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and you can see why. We're sorry we can't spend longer in this beautiful part of Italy, but maybe we will return in Cordelia during the summer. Our 3,000 plus kilometre trip from the most southern part of Sicily to almost the most northern part of Italy has been awesome. Now we can't wait to get back and test our bargain purchase. likes his magic beans. Yeah, anyway, so what appears to have happened in my obviously huge wisdom is that bit has been kept inside quite nicely. This bit has not been kept inside. It's been kept in a locker where it's been allowed to get a bit wet because when you look underneath, it's quite um, unloved. This is the brine water. Yeah. Or pickling water. Uh, yeah. But by now it's just yeah. seawater. But good flow. Yeah. Massive flow. So this is what we went travelled three thousand miles to go in or three thousand kilometres.
We're over the moon with our upgraded water maker that will produce five times more than our current one and will enable us to stay out of tanker even longer. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this episode and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. It's free and helps us enormously. Thanks again and see you in two weeks.